Okay, welcome back. Janus Prospecting. Now, if you're trying to watch all my videos consecutively, I'm sorry about that. It might be a little bit messed up, but in one of them, I did make a little short review on the banjo pan. Because I just kind of showed you how to do it without any dirt. This time, while well, I have dirt here, I might as well give you a better review for it. Anyway, we have the pan area here. You know, we have the little nugget trap in here. And we have the vortex mat. I've seen a couple videos on YouTube on how to do this, and it's just really fantastic for me. Okay. You don't really have to classify it down. I'm just going to do a little bit of dirt. Most of it's already been classified, but i just got to scoop a little bit in there. I'm just going to push and pull. And it's going to come down. A little bit more water. Push and pull. Some people do it a little bit aggressively. And that works too. I'm not giving it the full angle, but... So now, you should see, a lot of the heavier black sand is going to be in the nugget trap. But, hard to see, but, it is in the nugget trap. There's a little bit of sand in the pan, but oh well, it's going to go there anyway. Now there's a little hole in the bottom of the banjo. What we're going to do is we're going to pop our finger through there and pull out the vortex mat. We're going to lay that down right there. I'm just going to shovel a little bit of water in here because there's some sand that goes below the vortex mat. And I can just wash right into the pan area. Now, I got a little flower butt on here, but pull that off. What I learned from Doc at Gold Hog is that you back roll the mat and open up all those little grooves. This kind of feels more like a doormat than the rubber ones that they use at Gold Hog, but works the same. Back roll it, just kind of rinse it out like so. Then you're just going to roll it forward again instead of doing it in reverse. Just make sure you get every little bit out of there. And the vortex mat is all ready to go back into the box. Oop. Try to get that below that little ridge there. That's how it goes in. There we go. Just lift that up, put it down into the little tab. Now, you can run it more. I find just run it like a few times. If you still have a lot of sand and little pickers in there, you might want to just snuff it out with a snuffer bottle, but I'm not going to do it. This is just a little review. Now, at this point, a lot of people get confused on how to use it. But just remember, it's still a pan. You're just going to try to work it to one end. And just tap it back the other way. And you should see all your black sands getting up in this end. Turn this around so the camera can see. But all your black sand is going to be up in there. Any gold you might have will be in there. So it's a real basic short review. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 5, 1 being the worst and 5 being the best. I would really get this at about a 4.5 because I love it. I know some people don't understand it, but it's really easy to use. Um, I've seen some people use them as sluice boxes, put the hose here and just let it all run down. You know, that works too. But this is really just going to be your going out, checking out a new spot and seeing if there's any gold worth digging 
And if there is, good luck, because you're going to find a lot of gold using this thing. Thanks for watching. This is John from JNS Prospecting. Parker shooting the video again. Hello. Please like and subscribe. Um, eventually, I will put up more reviews as I get more products and whatnot. But again, this is the Banjo Pan. You can buy them like $29 on eBay. You can go to some other site and pay a little bit more, but I go to eBay. But try it out. It might be for you.